everyone, my name is Melissa Fry, author, editor, course creator, and lover of stories. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Because it's Valentine's Day, I want to talk about love tropes in my work in progress. Okay, so I couldn't do a video on Valentine's Day that didn't have to do with something to do with love because if you're familiar with me at all, I don't write romance stories yet, but there are a lot of love themes in my novels. It's something that I love to write. Love themes, love to write. It's redundant. But anyway, it's something that I really enjoy. So I was going to talk about different relationships in my work in progress. It's called The Prophecy of the Codex, and I actually have it slotted for release this summer. So wish me luck because I'm working on developmental edits right now and <laughs> developmental edits are making my brain hurt. So anyway, <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about different relationships and the different tropes that I use because why not? It's Valentine's Day. Let's have some fun. Okay, so some of these characters, most of them, are in book one. So if you've read The Secret of the Codex, which is available on Amazon now, just shameless plug, you recognize a few of the names. Some of them are new characters or maybe um, characters that were in the first book but might have a love interest in the second book. Hmm. So anyway, so the first one I want to talk about is acquaintances to lovers. All right, so the characters that I feel like fit in this category are Kayla and Grady. Yes, yeah, so you know they're probably my favorite ship of the whole series. Obviously, yeah, because I wrote it. Anyway, um, but I just love that, that couple, and they were co-workers, actually. So I guess that, is that another trope? Co-workers to love it? I don't know. Anyway, but they worked together. They never really gave each other much of a second thought, but because of the, the circumstances and the secret of the Codex kind of brought them together, and they realized that they had something between them and fell in love. So um, sorry if that was a spoiler if you haven't read book one. You probably knew that, though, if you follow me because I talk about him a lot. Anyway. Hmm. All right. So the second one is in the Prophecy of the Codex. And um, you probably haven't heard of them. But so the Prophecy of the Codex starts a few months after the Secret of the Codex ended. And it goes through Mandy and Justin are basically heading up the translation of the Codex that they found in the first in the first book. So there is a grad student that helps them with that, and her name is Alexia. So throughout the course of the book, she actually finds someone that she kind of, um, I, would, I would say they're acquaintances to lovers, because they just, they kind of know each other throughout the book, and they're kind of thrown together. They don't really have a lot going on, but by the end of the book, there's a little something there. I'm not going to give the name, so you still have to get surprised when you read the book, but... Um, so that might be another acquaintances to lovers. Okay, so here's a fun one. Enemies to lovers. Yeah. Um, so in the first book, there was a character called Nam, and he was the antagonist for the first book, and he was basically trying to make everybody's life terrible. Um, not really, poor guy. But anyway, so in the second book, we may have a little bit of enemies to lovers trope here. I'm going to let you think about that, what you will. Anyway, moving on. All right, so this one I grouped together because it's kind of a thing, not really sure, but I'm going to group them together, friends to lovers and love at first sight. So it's kind of a, I don't know, you'll have to read the book to see why, why I called it this way, but Holin from the first book, he's like 15, 16 year old kid. He seems to be on the wrong side of things, but um, has kind of a moral dilemma throughout the secret of the codex. And if you've read the book, you kind of know what side of the line he ends up on. Um, but he's definitely back in book two, and he's becoming one of the main characters, and I just love him a lot. Um, but he actually does have a love interest in book two. So I'm not going to give the name. You can discover that when you read book two. <laughs> but um, I would kind of describe that as love at first sight, but also a friends to lovers. They have um, a situation that kind of throws them together where they meet, and then they're t they spend a lot of time together. So it's kind of like a really quick friends to lovers type thing and yeah anyway right 
Now, the other one in the series is Mandy and Justin. Now, there are some other side things, and I won't go into. There was another strong relationship in book two, and it's hinted at in book one. Um, but I didn't want to get too much into it because I didn't want to give away any spoilers. So we're going to set that one aside for now. But Mandy and Justin are kind of, I don't know, in my head, they were kind of always together. I know that's not the case. But when they came into The Secret of the Codex, um, they were already together. They had already been together for a while. Um, and so the relationship was pretty solid. So I actually, I know this is bad for writers to admit, but I actually don't really know how they got together. It might be a little fun story that I might have to do at the end of the series or something just to see. Um, however, I do intend to get more into their personal stories in book three, which I've already started, and then book four, hopefully there's a book four. Um, so I'm hoping to get more into their stories there, and I'm guessing that background will come out in those, but I don't know it yet. It's the joy of being a pantser. Um, <laughs> but if you would like to vote on what you think, how you think Mandy and Justin got started, that would be so fun. So leave a comment. Vote how you think, what trope Mandy and Justin kind of fit into, if it's one of the ones I've mentioned, if it's a different one. Uh, it might get my juices flowing and give me some ideas. Um, it might just be ridiculous and really fun to think about. But yeah, leave me a comment. It'll be, I'm, I just can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed my love themed video for this week. I just, like I said, couldn't resist doing a love themed video on Valentine's Day because it just, the stars aligned and I do it on Fridays and it's Valentine's Day. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll get back to some of the more training, more serious stuff later on, but let me know if you like this type of video because I had a lot of fun making it. So if you do, let me know that in the comments as well. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. All right, my name is Melissa Fry, author, editor, course creator, lover of stories, and a grammar nerd. I'll see you next week, bye.